Hey everyone, it's me Kayla and today I'm going to be making a video of my grossest lip balm flavors or just like the weirdest lip balm flavors that I own and I'm going to be doing like a little review on every single one. So yeah, I just really feel like filming a video tonight um, and I thought that this would be a pretty fun, you know, simple video. So I hope you guys will enjoy and let's just get started. Okay, so first, I am going to actually be opening this thing I got. I actually got it like two months ago from someone in a trade. Um, but it's like this food truck and it comes with some very interesting flavors. Let's see, there is um, root beer float, hamburger, chocolate shake, french fries, popcorn, and pepperoni pizza. Um, but these just look extremely interesting and... I wanted to open it on camera so you guys could see my first impressions on these. But before I do that, I'm going to be reviewing some lippies that are already open that are uh, pretty interesting. So the first one that I have here is called Bacon. And uh, I got this from a trade, but I'm pretty sure you can get this from Claire's if you really wanted it. But okay, so let's, let's do a review. Well, honestly... I mean, this doesn't smell horrific. Do I want to put it on my lips? No. But, um, it smells like macaroni and cheese. It really doesn't smell like bacon. It kind of smells like macaroni and cheese. Um, yeah. I would rate it a 4 out of 10. It's, it's a very interesting thing. Alright, this next one that I have is called Cheese Puff. Now, I love cheese puffs in real life, like little cheese balls actually that you get from like Sam's Club. They're highly addictive, but I don't know about cheese puff or cheese ball, whatever, lip balm. So we'll see. I already know what this smells like, but I haven't smelled it in a long time because it's not a lip balm that I like to go back and smell because it's just, ew, wait, I'm going to do like a swatch so I can smell better. <laughs> okay, that's honestly, it's horrible. I mean, it's not strong enough to make you, like, gag, but it's just, it literally, it does smell like cheese puffs or cheese curls or cheese balls or whatever. It just has this really fake, weird cheese smell, and it's definitely true to its name. Yeah, I'd love to know, like, the person that would actually put this on and, like, use up a whole tube of this. I mean, honestly, I feel like people would just buy this for the fun of it to just... I don't know, not to actually use it, you know what I mean? It's just so bizarre. Okay, next I'm going to be reviewing Salted Pretzel. And I mean, this isn't really a weird one, but it's not like this is Salted Caramel or Salted Caramel Pretzel or, I don't know, it's just Salted Pretzel. So, you know, it could be bad, it could be good, it could be in between. Whereas my brother says in between, Weenie. It's so annoying, he says it all the time, but <laughs> anyway. This smells kind of like waxy and like pretzel at the same time. It's a uh, lip smacker if I didn't already say that. And honestly, it is not that bad. It's actually a really nice scent and I keep smelling it, but um, I would rate it a seven. It's not that bad. It just smells like pretzels and with a little bit of like a waxy smell to it. Yeah, so that one's okay. All right, next up is Double Cheeseburger. I'm not gonna lie, whenever I first found out that they made a lip smacker in Double Cheeseburger, I. I really couldn't believe it, honestly. Oh my gosh. Okay, this smells like onions, all right? And the lip balm is brown. Yeah, it smells like meat and onions. Oh, it's so gross. Like, once I was smelling this and I had it out, it's like sitting out on my dog tried to get it because I guess it, I mean, it literally smells like meat. So, very interesting. I would rate it a, um, I would rate it a, 3.5 out of 10, but it is like pretty fun, just the idea of it, so it just doesn't smell that great. All right, next I have this one called Milk Duds. And while this is a candy, it's a horrible candy that I think, I don't know, if it's just me, then let me know, but every single time I would go trick-or-treating as a kid and get Milk Duds, I would give them to my dad or something because, first of all, Milk Duds, what kind of name is that? And then... I don't know, they just don't taste very good. Ew. Okay, this kind of smells like coffee and skunk at the same exact time. I'm not too impressed with the milk duds here. Uh, I would rate this a 3 out of 10. Alright, and then lastly, before I open this um, little pack here, 
Um, this is sweet potato fries. Again, to some people it could sound good, it could sound bad, but it's definitely different. And this actually doesn't smell bad. I don't think it smells like fries. I think it smells like, um, like carrots and cinnamon and a little bit of sweet potato, you know? Um, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I'd give it a 6 out of 10. I mean, it's not the best, but it's definitely not horrible. Okay, finally, the moment we've all been waiting for. I have been waiting for a reason to open this up. Um, I don't know. Like, it just looks so cute, and I haven't wanted to open it, but I'm going to do it for you guys. All right. Get this thing open. We're gonna do the one that sounds the best first, okay? This is root beer. At first I thought it was root beer float, but it's just root beer. And I'm going to untwist this. And by the way, the brand is Lotta Love. It's the same brand that, um... oh wait, never mind. This is Hershey's brand. I thought that this was Lotta Love too. Anyway, is this Lotta Love? This is Lotta Love, but it's like a giant lip balm, so yeah. All right. Ooh, I'm gonna put this on my lips. Mmm, that tastes good. And I can't stop smelling it. Okay, this really does smell like root beer, honestly. It's not the best root beer smell, but, like, I smell better, like, more realistic. Like, Lip Smacker has a really good root beer lip balm, but this is really good, too. And the thing about this one is that when you lick your lips, it actually tastes good. That's what I love about Lot of Love. I feel like when you apply it and you, like, lick your lips or whatever, it honestly, like, tastes good, like, I really like this one. I would rate this one an 8 out of 10. I am definitely impressed. Okay, which one should I do next? I think I'm just going to go in order. So the next one is Hamburger. What a creative name, Hamburger. <laughs> okay, so this is what it looks like. I think it's actually extremely adorable. Oh, I can't smell it. Oh, I can smell it now. It smells like dog food. Dog food and cheese and tomato. But it's very mildly scented. Like, ew. it's just weird. I don't know. I'd give this a 3.5 out of 10. Okay, next up we have chocolate milkshake. And that sounds really good to me. Let's see. All right, I always, if you guys wonder why I do this, it's because sometimes when the lip balm is so new, you have to do that in order to smell it better. Okay, you definitely smell a lot of chocolate. It honestly just smells like a chocolate bar. I don't know, it smells, it doesn't smell as sweet though. Like it smells just like very strong kind of. I don't know, they did a good job with it considering, you know, these Lotta Love lip balms are very inexpensive. So I think that they did a nice job. And I can't stop smelling it, but it kind of smells like, um, what is that, like cocoa powder? I don't know what it's called, but it's like, you use it to bake and it's like brown powdery stuff. Or like a chocolate bar. I would rate it a, a 6.5 or a 7 out of 10. And then next I have french fries. So we'll see about this one. Usually these ones are pretty okay. Okay, this literally smells like french fries. It's scary. It smells like the french fries from Steak and Shake. Very potato-y and like salty and greasy. I don't know how you can smell salt and grease, but just go with it. Okay. <laughs> I can't stop sniffing it. Yeah, it smells like legitimate french fries. Like kind of like soggy, really salty, greasy fries. I don't know. It's interesting. I would give it a 6 out of 10. Alright, next up we have popcorn and this is so cute i love the packaging oh i love popcorn i try not to eat it too often because it like always breaks me out but when i do i love it um can't smell it okay this actually smells like kettle corn to me like it smells like buttery and kind of sweet at the same time i like it I would rate this one an 8 out of 10. It's simple and it, it smells nice. I like it. Okay, and then the last one I'm going to be reviewing is pepperoni pizza. All right. Please excuse my dog's barking. My brother just got home from hockey and 
yeah. All right. I was most excited to try this one. I got to do a swatch because I can't smell it. Okay, again, I really can't smell this. It's extremely, it's a very mildly scented lip balm. But I can't even smell it, guys. Okay, I guess it kind of smells a little bit like pepperoni and cheese. Yeah, but I really can't smell it. So because I can't smell it, I'm going to give it like a 4 out of 10. But, I mean, you can kind of smell a little bit of like pizza. I don't, I don't know. It's, it's okay. I would say that my favorite lip balm from this little junk food truck lip balm collection thingy is probably root beer because I love root beer. Um, and my least favorite oof, would definitely have to be hamburger. I mean, just no, this, this, I do not recommend this one. It smells really, really weird. All right, guys, so this concludes my video of me reviewing some of my weirdest lip balm flavors I have in my collection. I hope you all enjoyed watching. Um, have a great day, and also leave a comment down below letting me know what the weirdest um, lip balm flavor is that you have in your collection. All right, bye, guys.